Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking all about face masks. Hello, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about face masks made out of Crown Royal bag. Now it looks like masks are gonna be part of our new normal for a little while and they can get a little boring. So um, I had some extra Crown Royal bags laying around for my brother-in-law and I decided to make a double layer mask using those bags. So let me show you what they look like. See? So let's head over to my blog and I'll show you how to get the file and then we can start making it. Okay, we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna go to resource library and go to enter the library. You can click the get access tab if you do not have the password to access the library yet. Type in the password and we'll bring up all of the files. We're gonna select face mask template click on the blue link and it will download right to your computer and we can open up design space and get started on the project okay we have a new project open in design space so we're going to go to upload upload image browse we're going to find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and hit open You can rename the file if you'd like, hit save, and then highlight the image and hit insert image. And that will bring it into our canvas. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Now you're going to want to go and duplicate the layer because this will create two layers for the machine to cut, one for the Crown Royal bag and one for the inside layer. For this tutorial, I am using the large mask template from the download off of the blog. Now we can head up to Make It, which is that green button in the top right. And you can see the two layers here. We can go ahead and hit Continue. And now we're going to want to change the uh, material. So head up to popular and because the crown royal bag is a thicker material I'm going to select felt. And I'm also using my maker and I want to use the rotary blade instead of the fine point blade. So I'm going to hit edit tools and then select rotary blade and hit apply. And now we can prep our materials and then apply them to the mats and we can get cutting. All right, I have my maker and my sewing machine here, the pink fabric grip mat, crown royal bag, the extra fabric, pins, and scissors. Now before we get everything situated to cut out on the Cricut, we need to prep our bag. First things first, you're going to want to cut along this line underneath the cording. That is going to be the ties that go around our ears. For this thick of a material, it does help to use a good pair of scissors, which you are going to see that mine are not 100% sharp. But there we go. See now if you pull on the outside of the cording, it tightens the, it up a little bit. Now we need to flip the bag over and fillet the bag down the middle. You wanna cut through just the back, not the front. We're trying to create a flat piece of material for the Cricut to cut out.
Okay, that looks good. Now I am just going to trim up some of the extra fabric and help it lay flat a little bit better. All right, now that the bag is taken care of, we need to do the inside layer of fabric. This one we are gonna to want to just do a basic 12 inch square, roughly. All right, I'm going to replace the cutting blade with the rotary blade. I'm gonna take my pink fabric, fabric grip mat, excuse me, place the Crown Royal bag at the top, trying to align the best that I can. And as I'm placing it down, I'm pulling the fabric a little bit to help smooth out any wrinkles. And I'm gonna grab my Cricut Brayer just to help with some adhesion. You wanna rub it everywhere just to make sure that it sticks good to the mat. Especially because there's the cording on the Crown Royal bag that could pull if you don't press down really well. Now trim up the extra that is on either side because you want to make sure that where the wheels pass on the machine that those are clear of any fabric. That looks good, now we can feed it into the machine. And let this part cut out. All right, take this off. Don't worry about any of that debris, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that later. Now it's time to apply the inside layer Again, we're repeating, we're gonna smooth out all the wrinkles, use our brayer, trim up the sides, and then have the machine cut it out. All right, now, before we get to assembling the mask with the sewing machine, I wanna show you a little trick with the fabric grip mat. You take baby wipes. I take a decent handful, maybe three. and give the entire mat a good rub down. Do you see how it's pulling up all the little fibers? Perfect, nice and clean. Okay, I have gone ahead and pinned the fabric together and we're gonna sew along the top and the bottom of the mask. Now go ahead and take the pins out and we're going to flip it right side out. Make sure it lays nice and flat. You could iron this if you want, but I didn't really feel like doing that. Now it's time to take the cording and you wanna pull it so that it creates the loops and place it just along the outside edge and fold over the edge creating a pocket and pin it together and we're gonna sew along the line making sure we do not sew along the cording and repeat for the other side And there we go. The mask is all done. Let me show you how you can put it on and adjust it. Okay, so place the mask over your head. Lift up the top 
cords. Place those over your ears. Align with your nose. And I'm gonna turn around. And if you pull horizontally, that will give you a perfect fit for your particular face shape. Cool. What did you think? That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, you don't have to use the Crown Royal bag at all. The template is pretty straightforward. You don't even have to use a cutting machine if you don't want. Uh, you can print out the PDF versions and hand cut them and then cut out your fabric. You can even use fabric glue or hot glue if you want, if you just want to glue the Crown Royal bag together instead of sewing it. So there's all kinds of options for you. I hope that you guys liked this video. Until next time, guys, head on over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you did like this video, hit like and subscribe down below so you can see every time that I post a new video. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.